In this video, I'll demonstrate how to run multiple mediation analysis with Smart PLS 3. You see, in this model, I have four variables, one IV, one DV, but two mediators. So you see here, HRP means HR practices, TP means the team performance, and OC means original commitment, and WE means work engagement. So you'll note here that there is only one total indirect effect that is moving from HRP to TP. However, there are possibly two specific indirect effects, one going through OC and second one through WIA. Now the question arises, if there is a mediation effect, which mediation effect is statistically significant through OC or through WA or through both or through none and how to find out that which one is statistically significant we run first uh, consistent PLS algorithms And uh, then examine report and straight away go to indirect effect here you see placed in second option under final results so you note here there is only one total indirect effect that is coming from HRP and moving to TP that is 0.676 that is quite large in size but if you click this one so you see here we have two specific indirect effects one going through OC and second one going through WIE and both are positive however the specific indirect effect passing through OC is small while passing through WE is very large however we are yet not sure which one of the two which one of the two is statistically significant in which one is not so how to find out that one so we have to run bootstrapping calculate in bootstrapping and uh, so here we go so straight away let's go to report in report you see here we have multiple options and the one of those options is specific indirect effect, this one, the third one, click it. So you see here, the indirect effect passing through OC is statistically non-significant. Why? The indirect effect passing through WE is statistically significant. So that means OC is not a significant mediator between HRP and TP while WE work engagement is statistically significant mediator between HRP and TP. Thanks for watching.